In this lesson, we'll learn about some advanced modeling features of ARCHICAD, such as profiled building elements, shells and morphs, and we'll finish modeling our building. Let's open the Office Building 3 PLN file from the ARCHICAD Training Series 4, Demo Files, Startup Files folder, or you may also continue the project that you completed in Lesson 2. We'd like to place an attic wall around the top slab. Double-click on the 21st story in the Navigator project map and open the Wall Settings dialog. Set Wall Top to Not Linked and modify the wall height to 1,200 mm. Change the wall composite to 200 block insulated aluminum sheet. Set the wall reference line position to core outside. Make sure that Paint 1 is selected for wall override surfaces in the model panel of the dialog. Click OK. Select the Chained Geometry method in the info box. Start to draw the wall in the bottom left corner and go around the perimeter of the roof slab counterclockwise. Finish the wall polygon and check the results in 3D. We'd like to customize the attic wall around the top slab, but none of the currently available profiles will do, so we'll create a new profile for that purpose. Custom profiles are great to model walls with non-rectangular profiles. Turn Suspend Groups on in the toolbar. Select any of the attic walls in the 3D window. Select Design, Complex Profiles, Capture Profile of Selection from the menu. We can edit our profile in the Profile Editor window. In the first steps, we'll delete the aluminum fill on the right side and the unnecessary lines. We'll create a steel cover. Activate the Fill tool. In the Info box, select a fill type that will correspond to the future steel cover. Here, we'll use steel building material. Change the geometry method to polygonal and draw fills as shown on the screen. We can specify which parts of the profile can be stretched if needed. Deselect horizontal stretch layer in the design layers panel of the profile manager. The vertical dashed lines will be hidden in the Profile Editor window. Select the vertical stretch layer and move the upper line downward and the bottom line upward as shown on the screen. Here only the inclined part will be stretchable. We can also override element settings concerning surface materials. Open the Components Default panel of the Profile Manager. Select the concrete block fill and check the Use Building Material box. Similar to this, change the display settings of the insulation as well as the steel fill to Use Building Material too. Select all elements in the Profile Editor window and drag the fills and lines so that the origin will be placed between the concrete and the insulation skins. When finished, click on the Store Profile button and name it Attic Wall in the appearing dialog. Notice that the new profile appears in the list. We are going to use this particular profile with walls only, so please select only walls at the Use With panel of the Profile Manager. Let's use the new profile in the design. Close Profile Manager. Turn Suspend Groups off in the toolbar. Select all the attic walls in the 3D window. Open the Wall Settings dialog and modify the wall complexity to Complex Profile. Set the complex structure to Attic Wall. Display the floor plan and section panel of the dialog. 
and set the floor plan display to projected with overhead. Click OK. The existing attic wall will be changed to profile wall automatically. Check the results in the 3D window. Now, select the slabs on top of the two towers. Open the Slab Selection Settings dialog and select Composite for Slab Structure. Set the structure to Flat Roof and set the Reference Plane Location to Core Top. Click OK to close the dialog.